So what we're going to look at now, we're still going to continue one point perspective drawing, but what I want you to do now is you're going to do one point perspective drawing of a house. And then you can add some detail, some windows, some doors, and some external detail. Okay, I'm going to put this on the same piece of paper so you can see. So again, I'm going to start with an horizon line. Okay. And my vanishing point, I'm going to go and put it onto the right hand side. You can go to the left hand side and go in the centre, it doesn't really matter, it's up to you. So again, I am going to start again with a, with a square, okay, for the side of the house. So I'm going to again make this 30 by 30. And I'm going to do it below the horizon line, because I'm going to be looking down on the house. Okay. So 30 by 30, just like you did in the previous exercise. Okay, and again, we are going to draw, again, from those three points, a line from those corners back to your vanishing point, just like you did with the cube on that previous exercise. Again, making sure your lines are nice and light, just in, just in case you make a mistake, you can rub them out quite easily. Okay, like so. All right, all right, so this time, what I want to do, I'm going to make this more of a rectangle than a cube. So again, this back line here, but to this line here, this vertical line here is going to be further back. So it's not going to be a cube, it's going to be rectangle in shape. So I'm going to put it around about there. Again, making sure this line here and this line are parallel to each other, up to that corner. And then I'm going to again, make sure again, this, this horizontal line is going to be parallel to this line here. So I'm just going to line the rule up there and just carefully take it across and I'm going to draw a line across like so. So again you can see clearly it is a rectangle not obviously a cube like the others. What I'm going to do on this one I'm going to but you can have a flat roof on this if you want to but what I would like you to do is to put a pitched roof on it so roof obviously where it's angled okay so up here somewhere we're going to have the top of the pitch to the point. So to find where the center of the point is Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure this line here and I'm going to find the centre and I'm going to mark it. Okay, so I'm going to measure that, which is the 30 minutes, as you know, and I'm going to find 15 minutes. I'm going to mark it just slightly there with a, with a mark, nice and lightly. And what I'm then going to do is draw a vertical line up really lightly, lighter than anything else, because this is just a guideline, like so. Okay, so you can see that in the guideline. On that line is going to be where the top of your roof is going to be, so where the point is going to be. So if we want a really high pitch, we'd have it high. If we really want a low pitch, we'd have it low. So I'm going to have it quite high, so I'm going to just put a little line mark there. Okay, so that's going to be the top of my pitch, where the point is. What I'm then going to do, from each of these corners, I'm going to draw a line from that corner up to that point, what I've just marked, and then from that corner to that point. So it's showing the end of the house, or the gable end. Okay, there's one, and then there's two. What we then need to add is the top of the roof. And again, you're going to draw a line from the point, the pitch, top of the pitch, to your vanishing point. Again, make these lines nice and light, because as you more add more detail to this drawing, you'll get more and more lines. So you can clearly see there's a top of the roof, all right? Now we need to add this line at the back of the house okay so we get obviously that pitch at the back there so again there's the back of the house the back wall so from that corner we're going to draw a line upwards so it hits that line there okay we need to make sure this line and that line are parallel to each other because it's a pitch of the roof so what I'm going to do I'm going to just line the roof up like that and I'm going to carefully just slide it across like so, to that corner of the house, and then mark it up like so. You can do it nice and lightly, first of all, because obviously if you don't get it right the first time, you can rub it out and start again. But now you can see, so there's the front with the pitch, and there's my roof, okay, and the side of the house, okay? What I want you to do now is to add some detail, so a couple of windows and doors. Something quite easy and simple. So remember, your vertical lines, whatever lines are vertical, are going to stay vertical. Okay, they're not going to be angled anyway, they're going to be vertical. So on this face, I'm going to put a door round about here. Okay, 
So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure roughly to find the center of that line. So that's just under 40 millimeters. So the center is around about there, and I'm going to make my door, I'm going to make quite a wide door, so I'm going to bring three minutes there and there. What I'm then going to do, I'm going to draw again some very light guidelines going up for the edges of my door, because the size of the door. What I'm then going to do, from that point there, I'm going to draw a line back to my vanishing point. Again, that's going to show me where the top of the door is. Again, make it nice and light. Line up like so, and like that. Okay, so you can now see there is my door. Okay, and I can then rub that out. That little bit at the top I can rub out. So you can see a little bit clearer. Okay, a little clearer like so. Okay, you can rub these lines out if you wish, but you can leave them, you can leave the guidelines in. All right. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a window here. I'm going to put a quite I'm going to put a deep window in here and a deep window in here to make it a little bit different. So again, I'm going to draw my two vertical lines. So I'm going to draw a vertical line roughly there. And I'm going to draw another vertical line there. And the same on that side, I'm going to draw a vertical line there. And I'm going to draw a vertical line just there. Okay. What I'm then going to do, I here, I need to have the tops and the windows. So again, I'm going to decide where the top and window is, which I'm going to decide is going to be up roughly there on that line. And I'm then going to draw a line back to the vanishing point, nice and lightly, like so. So you can see there's the top of the window on that one, and there's the top of the window on that one. You have got these lot, quite a lot of lines going on, but don't worry about that too, at the moment too far. But just make sure you're making your lines nice and light. And then I'm going to... Do the bottom of the windows now. So I'm going to again line up with the vanishing point and I'm going to draw a line from the bottom from that line there back to the vanishing point. So again, there are my windows. What I am going to do on this drawing, so make it a little bit easier for you to see, I'm going to outline my lines in red of the house and the windows and the door so you can see it more clearer. What you can do if you wish, you can take that drawing, okay, and then trace it so all you've got left is just the outline of the house, okay, but don't do that at the moment. So I'm just going to do this so you can see it a little more clearer. You don't have to do this bit. I just want to do this so you can clearly just see it a little more clearer because it can be a little bit confusing first time doing this. So again, I'm going to do the end of the house first. Okay, here's the end of the house. So then I'm going to go to the top of the roof. Not all the way long. I'm going to just going to do it to the end, back end of the house. So I'm going to do it to there. Okay, and then that's going to go back to there. Oh, let's get that lined up. And then to there. And then I'm going to add the side in. Okay, and then the top. Okay, what I'm then going to do is just mark the door in. Remember, you're just going over the lines you've already drawn. Okay, there's the door. And then I'm just going to put this window in. So again, I'm using, just going over what I've drawn. Just keep them in the boundaries of where I've drawn because obviously you don't want to draw all of the guidelines, that's just going to get confusing. So, there's basically my house, very, very simple. Okay, I'm going here, I'm going to put another window there. So, again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use that point there. And I'm going to draw a horizontal line across, so that gives you the base of the window. So, it's, so basically, I want it to line up with that on that face as well as that face. So you don't have to do this, but I'm just showing this, doing this for a sort of 
So it lines up. So I'm going to draw a line across there. Okay. So that's going to be the bottom of the window. So I'm going to decide. I'm going to make this window 10 millimeters wide. So, so I'm going to have five millimeters between the center line to the left and then to the right. So I'm going to draw two lines there. We'll mark two lines and then again two light lines again. Like so. Let's bring that up a little bit. Okay. And then again, I'm going to do exactly the same on the top. So I've got a vertical line there. Okay, and then put the horizontal line going across. So again, a little bit, I've gone a little bit out, not quite power now there. My accuracy's gone a little bit. But again, we're going to draw that line. So that's going to be my window there. So I'm going to again mark it out in red. Like I said, you don't have to mark it out in red. That is totally fine. I'm just doing this so you can see it a little more clearer on the picture. Okay. All right. So again, we've got window, two large windows, one there, one there, and then I have one on this side. And then I've got the door. Very, very basic drawing of one point respect to drawing. Just to finish off this drawing, what I would like also is at the moment the house is like floating around. It's like it's not it's got no ground, it's not grounded. So what we're gonna do, I just want to put some kind of base on it. So it looks like it's got something that's grounded. Okay. So what we're going to do, again, we're going to use the one-point perspective drawing. So I'm going to want the front of the house edge of the, the ground and round about there. So I'm just going to line at the vanishing point and I'm going to draw out like so. Okay. And again, the same on that side. So I'm going to bring that across like so. Okay. So I'm going to vanishing point back to there. Okay. And then what I'm going to then going to do, just to, just as a sort of design point of view, I'm going to just going to draw that line like so. So there's the front edge. So there's my front edge. Is the front side, and then I'm going to put another edge round the back like so. But I'm going to keep that same parallel line to that. So it just gives it a little bit of grounding. Okay. So again, I'm just going to outline this in. In red, so you can see it. Okay, so you can see there's my drawing. We could make this line here. Maybe parallel to that line, so it may make it a little bit, may make it because that looks maybe slightly odd, but it's still drawn correctly. But again, it just gives the idea of the house actually sitting on something; it's not like floating in midair. Okay, so go on this one, on this thing, on this one piece of paper. I've got my practice one point perspective drawing cubes and my house. Okay, okay. If you want to add some more details to that, some external detail, you can if you wish. That is fine. Okay. We add a chimney and try adding a chimney. That is fine as well. Adding some more details like window frames, etc., etc. Or some external detail. That is brilliant. That'd be fine. Okay. But that's all I want you to do. What I then want you to do is now photograph this piece of paper and then email it to me, so I can have a look at it and give you a little bit of feedback. Okay.